No, you can use that. Uh, this is a card. Can you, can you go back to just the end? There? Okay, that's it. That's it. Fabulous. All right. Yeah, I, I've got all Bill's information. I've known Bill for at least five minutes now. All right. That's interesting. I almost wore a suit exactly that color. Really? Oh my gosh. And for some reason, at the last minute, I said, ah, yeah, yeah, let's do something different. Can we yeah. go over about a foot there. Again? Of course, absolutely. Yeah. You're going to be talking here. Are we going to be promoting that? We're going to uh, be promoting the legends. Uh, we system. don't need to. I we can if you want. We're, 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 we're good. Uh, yeah. right. what, what do you want to cover? Uh, we'll just jump, jump right in there. Jump right in, but you can certainly still cover that if you'd like. Okay, yeah, we'll play it. We're going to cover whatever you want. Okay. This is about you. I hear you're doing uh, Sophia Sky again. Looks that like there's some odd, potential. You're doing very <laughs> yeah, good, yeah. Uh, you know, the, it looks like some stuff will go on there. Yeah, uh, that's what I, I heard from one yeah, of the we'll, Carsons. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're working on some stuff. And, uh, I like how you play it close to the vest. Are we ready to roll? Oh, we're rolling. I well, guess Kurt, that, hello. Hi, Bill got good me you, from uh, Gorilla Pictures and many other companies. Well, uh, our promo company, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures, yes, uh, for trailers, and uh, the movie stuff is what it's all about here. Though. Certainly, the American film market, 34th year, and you've been here several years, we've talked about this each year. Oh, by the way, when we shot Corey Feldman in your suite last year, yes, he was talking about a film, I can't remember what it was called, Exposed or something, but the film's come out since we shot him in your suite, so maybe you bring good luck to actors and filmmakers hey. that they talk about it, Gorilla pictures when it comes to life. So, uh, what have you been up to since the last time I saw you here? Well, a whole lot of uh, uh, trailer work yes. on, on that side. We launched a channel uh, with Disney called Fandom. Mm -hmm. uh, but there, uh, movie-wise, we've done a whole lot of post. Uh, as I mentioned last time, we do a lot of work out of uh, Asia, mm -hmm. uh, mainland China specifically. We westernize yeah. films. Uh, animation, them. animation, anime. yeah. Rewrite the scripts, remove uh, Chinese central materials, we'll right. westernize them. And our partner there is just wonderful, and their content looks beautiful. Hip hop, and uh, so we've continued on with that, selling new content. Yes. Uh, what the new ghastly content? love of Johnny X is a wild oh, one. Oh, we did now. talk with uh, both John Duffy and, and, and Paul. Paul now. Yes. Yeah, that's a, a sci-fi. Really animated. If the movie's anything like his energy. It's crazy, and I just uh, hope it's embraced worldwide as much as it's uh, been enjoyed here in the United States. And I think it's, it's really building, and it's, it's a cool movie. Well, and it's interesting because it's kind of a movie in the vein of the artist that it was all shot in black and white. Yes. Um, and not many films do that anymore, so it's no. an interesting effect. And, it, you know, black and white, yeah, in some territories they think it's a technical problem. Right. But it is beautiful. I mean, shot 35 millimeters. Yeah. We're digitally remastering a lot of movies, going back to the original IPs. Really? It's been a big thing this year, yeah. Like, what ones are you redoing? Well, one which is now on HD is uh, Go Tell the Spartans with Burt Lancaster. Oh, the you're really going oh, back. This is what beautiful. What year was the original? Though. Man, you're talking right around 1980. Okay. And the picture is gorgeous. And that performance uh, by Lancaster and the other cast members is really, really strong. Uh, Charlie Chan and the Curse of the Dragon Queen, I mean, of America. Uh, yeah, it's some, some really uh, fun stuff. So titles that people may not have had the, uh, the benefit of seeing anytime recently are coming back. Oh yeah, kind of like What's what old we did. New. Yeah, the Chuck Norris content, yes. uh, which was previously just SD, now HD, and uh, looking strong and good. So we're doing a little push on our action stuff too. Oh. Kurt, for you, movies with a kick. Uh, of course, uh, that that's is a huge jawbreaker. Jawbreakers, baby. How do you fit it's that a in weapon. your mouth? Yeah, well, I've exactly. Seen, there's some people with powerful jaws here yeah. in the American film market. But that wow. one's for you. Well, thank you. No wow. one with more, uh, you know, uh, world-class pipes than Kurt. Oh, of course, uh, well, thank you. Yeah. Nothing like having a smurf tongue the next time I do a voiceover. This will exactly. I think yeah. this will be one of those things that you keep. You, you, you put it on your shelf desk. forever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, thank you. I appreciate that. You got it. Yeah. So, uh, the, one of the uh, films that you came out with in the last year we're involved with, yes. which actually changed its name, I heard, after White we did White Swan. It. Yeah, um, what happened there? 
Well, was that like the, the butler? The title no. was already taken. Time to change it. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, the guys at uh, Grindstone, Lionsgate, they released it. It was Assassin's Run in North America. And really? Yeah. Did a lot of sales. Okay. And, uh, internationally, we've done some great, great television. Beautiful stuff. film. Very well shot. Yeah. I mean, all 35 millimeter. Nobody's uh, really touching 35 right now. Too right. much. And that was with Sophia Sky and Christian, Christian Slater. Slater, Cole Hauser, Angus McFadden. Right. And we enjoyed that picture, and apparently a lot of other people did. It sold very well. Yeah. Congratulations. And thank you, Kurt, for oh, coming absolutely. out to uh, handle some of the interviews there. Truly my pleasure. And that was great. Yeah, we put it up and they have had a lot of people view that and we'll do that again. In yeah. fact, stuff we've shot over the last couple of years, I should tell you, we uh, put up on television again literally in the last week like a retro look back of here's what's been going on at AFM over the last couple of years okay. and here's some of the people we talked with. So we put you in and Corey in. Um, so we were getting a suite in a Thank couple you. times. Yeah. And, uh, you're going to have to have an IMDb credit over this. I hope you don't mind. Sure. What okay. The what the heck. Um, and you have a lot of other new films that are coming out this year. What are you working on? You know, we've got a What are you whole, selling here then? You know, a big push for us in the coming months is uh, the animation side. Mm -hmm. True stereoscopic 3D content. And over the course of the next three years, roughly 20 films on our slate. Yeah, will uh, these be some of the new ones where you don't even need to wear the glasses, or are these still in the vein where you use the glasses? You know, part of that will be contingent upon the development of monitors. Okay. Because companies like NEC, Panasonic, right. they have these technologies. When they're fully comfortable with releasing them and they're where they need them to be, right. they'll go with it. But that technology is available now. Yeah, it, but as it we is. See I it, saw it at NAB this past year. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah, and this is... Uh, Born in 3D, it's stereoscopic, it's not converted. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of that. We've got an action picture that we're working on right now. Uh, ah, the uh -huh. end of Sasquatch 2. <laughs> yeah, you can pet him, he's fuzzy, he's furry, he's fun. Nice. And uh, he's coming your way. What's the story about this? This is kind of a harvest festival tale. Yeah. Very fun. Thomas Calico, the original writer director, he's on this one. Okay. And, uh, a Halloween tale, but more than a Halloween tale, it's uh, really kids dealing with eh, things that might go bump in the night or scary. Nice. And so it'll be very relatable internationally. And right. We're excited about that. So your focus as a company is on family related films, films with a good message. Where Where's your target? You know, two sides. In general, yes, films that entertain, that they may be more fantastic than a downer. Right. Uh, we are here to entertain, mm -hmm. uh, and we try to do that. Right. And so, if it's action-based and it's it's in there and rumbling, okay. uh, we do that. Yes. You know, maybe sometime we'll do a horror movie. We don't do much in the way of horror. Right. But at the present time, it's action content primarily, and animation, family-based content that can be live action. How are you seeing the market change, um, not only here, but globally? Because for years, unless it was action-based, it wouldn't sell. Or unless it was horror-based, it wouldn't sell. Romantic comedies, everybody ran from. If it was a movie that had, you know, black content, people would be, eh, touch and go. But that seems to be changing. Absolutely. There's been a lot of regional content that's changed the market extensively. Certain territories that bought lots of content in the past, they're making great movies now. I mean, in Turkey, Indonesia. Absolutely. So you've got to have content that cuts through that's very relatable to them as well, content that they need. That's been a big change. Uh, the other adjustment has been uh, toward contents that would, would really be desirable in the physical medium. Right. You know, kids, man, if you got a DVD there or a Blu-ray, you right. can pop it in, they'll watch it over and over. And parents would buy more for their kids than they would for themselves. So there's been, I believe, a bit of a shift away from content that's uh, as much adult content, uh, more content that is for kids and for families. How do you see it changing with internet and more and more stuff being streamed, video on demand, how will that impact the market over the next few years? In a 
huge way it will affect the market. Companies that haven't already begun to make that change, mm -hmm. now they may not be making giant bucks right. on it right now, but if they're not in that market sector at the present time, they're going to have troubles later. Yeah, late entries are going to be a problem. Somebody yes. else is on that space. Yes, yeah, so we must look at the emerging markets, the digital markets, mm -hmm. video on demand, cable TV telcos, and say, we need to be in there now right. and, and know that the rewards may come later. There are rewards now, there are paybacks, but uh, the greatest rewards are yet to come out there. So if I go into your store and I pick something up, stick it in my pocket and go home, I could get arrested. If people steal content from entertainers, they don't understand that that's also not cool to do and it is a crime. Thoughts on how we can get people educated that taking stuff that you produce or other people produce and using it without paying for it? Well, I, I think the best way to do that is probably going straight up the middle, mm -hmm. continuing to educate people, right. putting more and more PSAs from people that they love, movie stars, right. and directors, and, and those sorts of folks saying, hey, it is a crime, right. and uh, recognizing that, uh, that's critical. Uh, the other point is that uh, people need to take responsibility, and I suppose it'll just take time, perhaps. It does. Yeah. And karma. It will come back to haunt you. So what are some of the other films that you have to promote this year? Because I'm sure you have a plethora of titles. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of goodies. I, I, I think uh, the one that uh, we'd like to give an extra little punch to, again, was The Ghastly Love of Johnny X. That's Great film. really a fun, fun film. But on the animation side right yes. now, uh, we've got something that'll come out uh, this spring yes. uh, in North America, and that is Farmhouse 81, <laughs> and it's for the kids, right. and it's, uh, uh, it's kind of a spring break movie. You know, it's uh, egg extremely good. Egg you know. extremely good.